Hi, and welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and in this video, we are not going to learn the two to four player game, Four Gardens. That's because this isn't a tutorial video, this is a BGG store video. And you know what that means. We're gonna be looking at new gaming accessories, promos, and yes, even a complete game. But first, on screen and in the description of this video is an affiliate link, and anything you buy after following that will give a small percentage of the proceeds back to Watch It Played without costing you anything extra. So thanks for using that if you do. Now I normally start these kind of shows with an empty table and then we fill it up, but not this time. Because here I have set up one of the games you can pick up from the BGG store, Four Gardens. All right, look, I'll be the first to admit I'm a sucker for a good presentation and I love the look of this pagoda. I was very curious about how it worked. This is how you collect resources in the game based on which side is facing you as a player. So for example, if I played this card here, it tells me to rotate the third level down. So I'd rotate it like this, which keeps the fourth level the same, but everything else just changed. And now you collect resources either from the top to the bottom or bottom to the top based on the arrow direction here. So this is saying I collect from the bottom up. And this is showing one wood, so I'd collect one of the wood resources, and then I'd keep going. Here it says I get three water, and so on. But the catch is you can only hold so many resources at a time. This is not ideal for holding up in the air, but this would sit, you know, in there. And once these spaces are filled up, you can't collect more. So you're trying to manage which resources you want, and are you going to be able to collect them in the correct order? And the reason you're doing all of that is because you're trying to create these panoramas. If you played Takedo before, it has a similar mechanism there where you're trying to collect these different cards to create full landscapes. Also, can I just say, I don't know how Shut Up and Sit Down does all the reviews crouch down by the table like this. It's very uncomfortable. Obviously, this is not a full tutorial, but I wanted to remind you that in addition to all the gaming promos and accessories you can normally find on the BGG store, you can also find entire games that are often not available in North America or other parts of the world. For example, the Freeman Freeze game finishing time is exclusively in the BGG store for the United States, and there are others to check out there as well, so take a look after this video. But that's right, wait until after this video, because first we've got some other cool things to look at, starting with this bag set for Terra Mystica. Actually, just to be clear, there are two different bag sets you can pick up. One for the general game components that I have laid out here, and then player bags as well. The general components come as a set of seven bags. You'll have one for the bonus tiles, the coins, favor tiles, purple power pieces, which is fun to say, scoring tiles, town tiles, and terrain tiles. And all of these, as you can see, are high quality drawstring bags with artwork from the game itself. The player bag set comes with just what you'd expect, nine bags, seven that are the colors of the base set factions, and two more for the fire and ice expansion if you have that. Toss a player their bag and they're ready to sport their game colors with pride. Speaking of giving something a toss, next up we've got flip chips for too many bones. These are two special promo chips from 2019 that feature art from the core set and from the undertow expansion. And they even come with these very fancy protective cases as well. I quickly looked, but I wasn't able to tell exactly how they're used in the game, if at all. So let's give them a use right now, quickly. Heads or tails? You got one? Tails. So if you said tails, let me know in the comments below because you just won. Exactly what did you win? Well, aside from absolutely nothing, let's take a look at another accessory that I'm glad to see at the store. Mats for Dragon Castle. Actually, like Terra Mystica, this is two different sets as well. First is the central board, which comes on its own, and this replaces the main board that comes in the game. And then as a separate set, you can pick up this collection of matching player mats, one in each player color. If you're not familiar with Dragon Castle, we have a tutorial video for that, and I'd encourage you to check it out, because with all the games releasing all the time, this is one you might have missed from 2017, and if so, I think it's one worth being aware of. Speaking of games to be aware of though, let's talk about Potion Explosion next. This promo comes with eight new potions to mix into the base set, and the effect on these, as it explains here, allows you to discard two ingredients from the same track of the dispenser back into the tank, and no explosions are triggered from it. If you're not already familiar with Potion Explosion, we have a tutorial video for that game as well if you'd like to check it out. And since I keep showing promos for games I've featured, let's do another one, this time for Tiny Epic Zombies. If you bought the Deluxe Edition during the Kickstarter, you'll already have all of this, but if not, you can now upgrade your game to include these four new playable characters, five search cards, including the service dog that comes with its own dog figure, and then two new item meeples, the Katana and the Bazooka. 
Admittedly, a katana would be more precise, but it seems like blowing up hordes of zombies with a bazooka would be a little more satisfying, don't you think? Or you could knock them out with our next item, this bag full of metal cubes. I know I don't review in my tutorial videos, but this isn't a tutorial, and I don't mind telling you I really like terraforming Mars, but what I don't like are some of the components. In particular, the plastic cubes that came in my set started to chip after the first game. I would show them to you, but I already threw them out. So I was very happy to pick up these deluxe heavy metal cubes that come in bronze, silver, and gold from Top Shelf Gamer. There are enough pieces here for a two-player game, but they suggest you might want two sets for a game with three to five players. And Top Shelf has several other gaming accessory upgrades for other games that you can find on the BGG store, so check out their other options while you're there. But now, let's get back to some promos, starting with this one for Feast of Odin. Feast for Odin. A Feast for Odin. This is called Mini Expansion 1, and it comes with two more expedition boards to fill up in order to score more goodies and points, and they're double-sided for even more options. A Feast for Odin was designed by the very popular Uwe Rosenberg, and although I don't have that game, the next game I do have a promo for is a game I own, A Feast for, a feast for Arl. <laughs> They're not all feasts, Rodney. Fields of Arl. This gives you two new buildings, a peat power plant and a peat-fired brickworks, and also a double-sided coach tile. Both the Feast of Odin and Fields of Arl come jam-packed with components already, but if you need some more, well, there you go. And with that, we've come to the end of another Box of Wonders, and I hope you saw some things here that interested you, and you can find everything I showed you here and lots of other cool stuff at the BGG store, which I'll link to in the description below. And again, if you use that link to visit the site, then any purchases you make after that point will help the channel here. So consider using it, and I'll be back in a future video to show you some more selections in detail. But until the next episode, thanks for watching.